King whom shepherds guard and angels sing haste, haste to bring him Lord of God the Son of summer 1986, the second edition quartet formed. A few months later, they entered the Fall Barbershop Harmony Society Cardinal District Quartet Contest and won. Shortly thereafter, tenor Alan Hatton left the group due to time constraints and Fred Farrell joined the quartet. In the spring of 1987, this foursome qualified to compete in the International Quartet Contest being held that summer in Hartford, Connecticut. Now dear, oh, now dear, don't be late. There, they placed second. When the band starts playing, remember. It was in the fall of 1987, following this first international appearance, that they began recording. They finished recording and released the second edition won. A one, two, now. Ba -bum -bum. And were the first barbershop quartet to offer a recording in the digital CD format. In the summer of 1988, the quartet once again placed second at the international contest, this time held in San Antonio, Texas. One year later, in Kansas City, Missouri, the second edition won the 1989 International Quartet Championship. Our 1989 gold medal winners, second edition. Doug was only 20 years old, David was 21, Fred was 22, and Jamie was 24. It was in the fall of 1989 that the second edition paired up with Growing Girls from Sweden, the newly crowned 1989 Sweet Adeline's International Queens of Harmony. Over the next year, the concert, The Best of Two Worlds, toured in Chicago, Salt Lake City, San Francisco, Sweden, and New Zealand. Shortly after the premiere concert, the second edition of Growing Girls recorded The Best of Two Worlds. These are the world champions from Louisville, Kentucky. The second edition sang together until retiring in the early 1990s. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1989 International Quartet Champions, the second edition.
Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Oh, 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 oh. oh what's this? Oh, we have a situation here. What is going on what? here? What? Uh, okay. Um, that's not good. Right? This well, is really pretty. Thank you. You will not guess what happened. What? Well, you know that wedding chapel <laughs> down the uh, mm. hall there? You know? <laughs> well, the tux rental place we were supposed to meet at? Yeah. Well, this is the only thing they had that fit me. <laughs> so, just mm. blow the pitch. Okay. <laughs> what a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why, it's almost like being in love. There's a smile on my face for the whole human race. I enjoy wearing a no, stop, hold on. Please. You're going down no, the no, wrong no, no, no. path. We can't do this. <laughs> this is not working. So oh, this is a no? It's definitely yeah, it's a, no. a no. Go change. That's a no. Goodness right. gracious. That looks pretty good. <laughs> what? Thank you. You mean you had a tux on the whole time? It was on sale. I got a great deal. <laughs> Rid of that. Ah, now that Fred has changed into something a little more comfortable, <laughs> uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the AIC for inviting us here to celebrate our 25th anniversary. Yeah! <laughs> now, back in 1987, at our first international competition, we were 18, 19, 20, and I was 22 years old. We were young and impressionable, and the songs that we chose back then were based on the quartets that we looked up to. We wanted to be the Bluegrass Student Union. That's right. yep. And we wanted to be the Sun Tones. And we wanted to be the Boston Common. I'm sitting on top of the world Just rolling along, just rolling along Because I'm quitting the blues of the world Just singing a song, just singing a song So the cradle will rock Play a lullaby In ragtime Sleepy hands are creeping To the end of the clock Play a lullaby In ragtime What'll I do David wanted to be the Boston Common. That was a heck of a lot of solos there. Anyway, um, the year that we won, we introduced a new song to the contest stage. Now, this arrangement nowadays would be fairly conservative, I think. Uh, but back then, it got us in a little bit of hot water. Here's a taste of that very song.
Can you believe that that song nearly got us disqualified? In fact, we were dead last in the arrangement category. Look it up, Harmonette Reporter. But hey, we make mistakes when we worry all over nothing at all. Yeah. If Jeannie with light brown hair had been disqualified, well, it would never have had the chance to be the great contest ballad that it's been down through the years. And for that, we have to thank the late, great, and one of our favorite arrangers, Ed Weishi. You know, I believe back then, uh, Jeannie caused the judges to huddle. The does, does that kind of thing still happen? Nah. But you know, I think just about anything goes in contests these days. You can sing just about anything. Maybe even something like this. Good So after our uh, first international contest in 1987, we went into the studio and started recording our first album that we called the Second Edition One. Uh, an album is a big, large black vinyl thing that goes really far when you throw it. Um, kind of like a giant CD. I'll explain it to the Ringmasters guys after the show. Um, but then in 1989, um, we started plans uh, to uh, make a, a uh, another recording and uh, do some live concerts with a young ladies quartet that we had met uh, that was exactly our age. They were from Sweden and they were called the Growing Girls. Anybody ever hear the Growing Girls? Yeah. Uh, we've aged, they haven't. Um, <laughs> But 1989 was a fantastic year for us. Everything just kind of fell into place that year. We won our gold medals in July. And then just a few weeks before uh, our first scheduled concert with the Growing Girls, they happened to win the Sweet Adelines Championship. Uh, so it was pretty cool. Uh, we got together and got into the studio real quick and produced a recording together, a cassette tape. Um, again, I'll explain to those boys what a cassette tape is after the show. Um, but uh, it was a wonderful recording that we're very, very proud of. Uh, and then that first live show that we did, uh, we actually set up to record that show. And uh, it was just a magical evening. It turned out to be everything we hoped it would be. Uh, both quartets did a lot of great music. Uh, we had some guest performers on that show, uh, including the Harrington Brothers, and our old friend Dan Burgess from the Bluegrass Student Union emceed that show. Well, fortunately, um, after about 20 years of none of this stuff being available, uh, it's all been digitally ringmastered, um, and uh, that's remastered. Oh, okay. I've got those boys on the brain, I guess. Um, and it's available uh, this week, uh, like I said, for the first time in almost 20 years. So um, we hope you guys have a chance to stop by the booth and say hello, and uh, maybe take some of those recordings home with you. Uh, you can go to our website as well, secondeditionquartet.com. We didn't have a website back in 1989. In fact, there was no internet in 1989. It was just us and our cassettes and albums. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're going to leave you now with a song. Uh, we just want to thank you so much for all the support and encouragement we've gotten all week. 
and over the last 25 years and uh, you know I hope we met a little of, a little of that anticipation for you tonight but um, it means a lot to us the warm reception we've gotten from you and um, we'll see you around Today, you know what I'm saying? Times oh, yeah. have changed, not really and, right. and we really need to sing this like Bill Bailey Good. would sing it today. It's not You're right. right. It's not You're right. right. You're right. Okay. 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 Hold on one second. else but you and I, I wear the pants around here when I'm finished with your laundry well the sooner you learn who's boss around here the sooner you can give me my orders dear because I'm the man of this house until you get till you get home I remember that rainy evening I think this is going well it's yeah, going it's well good. yeah with nothing but a fine tooth comb. Well, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, and I'm gonna do what you tell me to. And I ain't coming home till I'm good and ready to sleep on the couch, Bill Bailey's, like a boss, till you get. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Oh. 